Hello, Christina here. I'm off to the beach shortly, which is why I'm not made up as I usually am, but that's actually inspired today's blog video. Um, and it's what should you have on standby to help soothe and hydrate the skin after you've had too much sun. Now that isn't my plan. My plan isn't to have too much sun, but you need to have certain items at home in order to soothe and hydrate the skin. So my first tip, my first recommendation would be to have a good aloe vera gel and keep it in the fridge. Now I normally use SBC. This is a new one that I uh, found locally that I'm trying. But if you keep it in the fridge, whenever you've had too much sun or whether you feel really hot, you take a small amount out of the gel and literally press it into wherever you feel warm, where, wherever you feel warm, and it'll help take the heat out of your skin. Now the other brand I want to introduce you to is a brand called SBC and they are fantastic at isolating a particular ingredient and formulating a water gel uh, consistency so that it can really be taken into the skin. Um, so again, as I said, apart from the aloe vera gel, the other two gels that I would never be without is the propolis gel. Now propolis can be used anywhere, I mean it's to, really to do with skin health. Now I get unfortunately dry flaky scalp and I unfortunately, however, because I've got this, I really rub it into my scalp and it really does the job. But wherever you've, you've had a fall, a graze, a mosquito bite, after shaving, after waxing, absolutely fantastic, their propolis gel. Um, and what, what um, another one of their gels is their collagen gel. Now this, is, this was, because there's not that much left, uh, just under half, 500 ml of marine collagen and again you can use you can use their gels the SBC gels all over your your face you can use them in your scalp if you need to and you can use them all over the body so this is fantastic to do a collagen mask when you get back is very good for your skin but again it can be used daily and you use this like a serum so you use this underneath your moisturizer if you want to use the collagen gel now some other gels that I picked out for you for the, for the summer is their lavender gel. Now this is fantastic to use in the evening. It'll actually help you sleep as well if you're having trouble to sleep during those stuck, sticky nights. Um, the other gel is their vitamin A, which is their vitamin A, C and E. Great again to use on face and body. This is again it's their propolis gel in a smaller size if you want to take it with you on holiday. And then if your skin has got particularly dry during the summer, then this is vitamin E gel. So this would be absolutely perfect for you. And again, can we use on face and body? Then from my um, some SPF range that I use, Ultra Sun, I picked two additional products. So this is more like your traditional after sun, but it's more of a fluid. So again, it's um, easily absorbed into the skin. There, I think they only have one after sun. So it's cooling and moisturizing after sun fluid for very sensitive skin. And then if you have had too much sun on your face, Tut, tut, but it can happen. Then um, Ultrasun also have an overnight summer skin recovery mask, which again is fan fantastic. It's full of hyaluronic acid. So they are my tips for this week. Have a fabulous week. Enjoy the sun safely, and I'll see you very soon.